Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Stockfish 9 and Lila Chess 0. The time control was 10 seconds per move. Stockfish had white pieces and the game started with e3. Is this a mouse slip? Lila Chess 0 played e6. Very shy start by both machines. D3. Hmm. Stockfish doesn't stick. To the opening principles we know. Why not d4 and d4? Lila chess 0 played c5. If white pawns were on d4 and e4, it would be a Sicilian defense. White to move. h3 by Stockfish 9. Bye. Why is Stockfish going so easy on its opponent? I don't know. Lila chess 0 played knight to f6. a3. I must tell you that I am not impressed with the way Stockfish plays its opening, but I am impressed with the way Stockfish plays the middle game. The game continued. d5, g3, b5, b3. Bishop to e7, bishop to g2, bishop to b7, bishop to b2. I find this opening by Stockfish amazing. This is how old people in pubs in Croatia played their openings. When I was a kid, I learned from the book that you need to play e4 and d4 as white and occupy the center. And now I am seeing this opening again but now played by the strongest engine in the world. I can't believe it. The game continued. Lila castle king's side. Knight to e2, queen to c7, knight to d2, or oh, castling king's side was expected. Stockfish 9 played g4, d4, e4, keeping the center closed. e5, Knight to d2, knight from b to d7, knight to g3, g6, preventing knight to f5. Castling was expected, Stockfish played knight to f3. c4, Lila has a space advantage. Black stands a bit better. What do you think? At least visually. Or maybe this is just an optical illusion. The game continued. Stockfish cast at the king's side. c3. Bishop to c1. a5. Knight to h2. b4. a4. With the locked queen's side, white can now focus on the king's side. Lila played the knight to c5. f4. Pawn takes pawn on f4. Bishop takes on a 4 attack in the queen. Bishop to d6. Bishop takes bishop. Queen takes bishop. Queen to e1. Knight from f to d7. Knight to e2. Knight to e5. Knight to f3. And now comes a nice tactic by Lila. Knight from e takes on d3. Attacking the queen. White to move. How would you continue? Stockfish 9 played queen to h4. If c takes on d3, then knight takes on b3, attacking the rook, and after rook to b1, knight to c5. And black pawns are too dangerous. Back to our game. Queen to h4. Black to move. If f6, then c takes on d3. So, Lila played knight to e5, saving the knight. Knight to g5, threatening queen takes pawn on h7 check mate. h5, g takes on h5. d3, according to Nincevich, it is a great move, attacking the pawn chain at its base. H takes on g6. Queen takes on g6. Knight to f4 attacking the queen. Queen to g7. 
Knight to h5 attacking the queen again, queen to h6. If queen goes to h8, then knight to f6 check, and after king to g7, queen to f2. Back to our game. Queen to h6, knight to f6 check, king to g7, queen to g3 threatening some kind of discovered check. Knight to g6, white to move, what now? c takes on d3, Stockfish played the best move, rook to f5, d takes on c2, knight to g4 attacking the queen, queen to h4, offering to exchange queens, queen to c7, with a double attack, king to g8, let's take it back, if knight takes on e4, then rook takes on f7 check, and after rook takes on f7, queen takes on f7 check with the attack. King to g8. Rook takes on f7. Rook takes rook. Queen takes rook on f7 check. King to h8. White to move. How would you continue? Stockfish 9 played. Queen to f6 check. King to g8. Queen takes on g6 check. King to h8. White to move and two check, mate in one. And the move is knight to f7. Check, mate. This is the second game of the match. Four games were played. Stockfish 9, 1, 4 games. And Leela 0, 1, 0 games. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video, I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.